My old man used to take off his wedding ring and sort of flick it into a spin. I remember being scared to blink, like, what if he loses it? Would he lose mom? Would he lose me? So that's our cold open. Just a ring twirling over black. Will it stand or fall? And then, as Starfather, I speak. Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. Within it, he placed everything. First breath, final gasp, love, loathing, you. By his will, circle became ring. By his hand, earth parted from sky. But even he could not foresee the coming of Ava Nadir. Okay, I'm trying to record here, and you're making that face again. The player can skip this, right? Oh, yes. The story is only my life's work, but by all means, skip to the last page. Shall I leave it blank so you have somewhere to doodle? Ish, you were married, right? You and your wife ever dress up? You know, role play. Maze. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. The meaning lives and dies in the act. Someone's never been in love. It's just a game. Shut up and let them play. Ah, people, just use this take for now. I'll redo it tomorrow. Uh, we end on Through the Ring and Fade Up as the Hero Awakens.
Hold. Hold, please. So, who are you? A new playtester? Well, let me save you some time. Today, I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. Twenty years, Maze. Twenty years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. They demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn said people into piles of gently glowing ash. Well, what possible story could survive these conditions? It's a murder mystery now? Hmm, everyone's dead. Who could do such a thing? Oh yeah, me. Look! Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Matricide is just how they say hi. Your story needs mom to live, so I have to cut all weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. Long story. No choice. <laughs> All right, what was next? No, no. No, ah. May, shall we continue? Now, we don't have any animations yet, but I can make do. Hero, the demoness Ava Nadir has stolen my ring. She alone now commands life and death. Ah, uh, something, something. Ish. The company is broke. The last kickbacker campaign raised less money than that joke fund demanding to have you cane by the state. That was you trying to get fired. Even now, I struggle to hold the sky aloft. Never proven. The point is, we can't raise a penny more without a live gameplay demo. Yes, I'm writing the demo script as we speak. Wit must be your sword, and virtue your shield. Now go, hero. Take back the circle. No, that song is better for a boss fight. What else do we have? Mysterious, but this is the ending. Sadder, maybe.
then, eight to twelve hours later, I am Ava Nadir! Then we release the Hellhounds. Oh, wait, but we just cut combat, so, um... We? Oh no. I'm deleting the end game bridge so the team knows we're blocked by your decision. I want to ship this thing. That's the contract I signed. You stole ten years of my life. We don't own you. Just the rights to your celebrity name and face. And if you quit, I use it like so. My real name is Maze Evelyn. Once I was a hotshot pro gamer, but now I teach yoga. I'm also legally married to a crystal formation. You're holding my brand hostage? Okay-ish. Okay. I'll stay on until the demo, but wait till I tell you my new idea for the endgame. Threats don't sink in anymore, Maze. Try reading some of my fan mail. Now I need to review the final cinematic. Alone. Thank you. I designed that fight to be hard, not unwinnable. But with no weapons, it might as well be a... ugh, cutscene. Thanks, Ish. But there's a bug I haven't fixed. Your body was erased, but it hangs around, taking up memory. You can still move if you want to finish testing. to rewrite this too. Something like, even weaponless, the champion defeated Nadir, for they had selflessly offered up their firstborn son to Starfather. To become a new god. I like it. Ah, hello. Uh, Coda, right? Mesa's community intern. Why are you here? Love, sir. Your work is the great love of my life. Uh, Coda. Don't panic. I won't ask you to sign any body parts. But I have literally grown up, waiting for the sequel, and I will help finish it. Did you rehearse this? Many times, but hear me out. It might interest you to know that you make video games for a living. That should be an act of love. But after 20 years, well, 
Love is not some mystic, inexhaustible force. It's a fuel. Projects like this run on it. And sir, with respect, your tank is dry. You think I sound young, but purpose trumps experience and you know it. This upcoming demo, I won't sleep until it's perfect. The magic circle has come too far to run empty now. It will reach everyone. And if necessary, sir, I'll burn for it. Coda, ignore whatever Maze told you. Now you're hired. Let me guess. You're thinking, that's it? Did I miss the punchline? And you're right, boss. This world is a joke. And I need you to finish it. The gods of this world don't know you, boss, but they're scared of what you might do. They have to treat you like some reptile with a credit card who can't stay awake without watching something die. But we both know you can quit this world at any time. I can't. I'm trapped here, and I need your help. Hope that's enough. Welcome back. By now, you can see that the gods will never finish this world, boss. Hell, they can't even decide on the color of the sky. To fix it, we gotta start by breaking you. Think romantic. Okay, everyone else? to the strings. Here we go. Just sit under there. Sit under there. When the gods screw up in the act of creation, that life ends up in the cracks. This is one such crack.
So close. Let's try that one. Before the gods made the world, everything looked like that. Just a big circle of nothing. The trick is to stare into it and see anything else. Now, when you make your own circle, it's like ripping a black hole in theirs. Trap something inside, and it ain't never the same again. Good. Now, if you see something that looks kind of ghostified, it means the gods unmade it. It takes life to bring it back. The gods would tell you exactly what to do next. <laughs> Not me. I want you burning with righteous doubt. Call BS on everything. Even me. The gods are just stuck on what is and what ain't. But there's always a place between. And if you got the will, you can live there. When they erase something, it hangs around as a ghost in case they realize they screwed up and want it back. Usually a ghost can't move around. But you, you're that something between. That's what you look like, boss. The gods' plan was there'd be more than one of you heroes. But they canned that idea again. So now this thing is kind of stillborn. Maybe crack it open? See what happens?
Okay, intern. Is trusts you. Your new job is to convince him that you should build our big gameplay demo. First, convince me. I'm nervous. Your work is sort of the great love of my life. Uh, but speaking of Starfather, see this rando down here? Pretend this is Ish. Do I score any points with you if I just... Hey! No! Zero points. First up, that was a live play tester. You just changed the world for everyone. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, and second, that love crap? Clumsy. Button up your blouse. I don't need to see your soul, okay? That tester heard you. Hold up. This... this bridge was cut. And this zone isn't even ready for playtest. Who or what was that? I need intel. Uh, same time tomorrow? See, boss? With them around, fixing this world ain't an option. I call them sky bastards. But they ain't got the know-how to close the cracks. So now your life is gonna flow right back in there. And then... Payback. You're ghosted, boss. All your life is still in the crack. Now, the god's biggest weakness is the past. If we dig up something shameful enough, they'll crowd around it, pointing fingers, guaranteed. Then we jump out and ghost the Sky Bastard. Maybe even get inside it. And then... Well, the gods claim that they hold up the sky. But I say, knock it down. Don't you want to see what's behind it? The gods made that thing hate you. They expect you to kill it. You can't. So, you either quit their game, or change the rules.
do you found a way inside that monster's head? And like all the god's ideas, he's only half a joke. All punchline, no setup. Think you can finish it? You can't use a creature's powers yourself, but you can stitch them on to anything else. Mix and match body parts to get the job done. Yeah. Pulling off his legs will work as long as you don't go near him. Yanking out his teeth, huh? Well, congrats. Now you're equally impotent. That'll work. Now he knows that hunting you is a sucker's game. See? Trap it with the circle, rewrite the rules it lives by. Anything a creature can do, you can yank that part out and stitch it into one of your pets.
See, I watch the gods. I collect their voices as evidence. But they ain't free, so I have to spread them out, hidden in random objects like this. Sorry about that. Coda, do you think I'm too old to use a search engine? Sir? I was too quick to trust you. Greetings, streamers. After this latest delay, all I can say is Ishgilder is no longer the star father I once worshipped. Wait, wait! That is the passion of a fan. Maybe THE fan. In my family, it's a toss-up who has the more anticipated sequel. You or Jesus! Coda, it's just a game. Not to me. Ah, correct answer. Correct. Now sit here, read through the entire script, and then render unto me... Naughty. You're not even supposed to be here yet, boss. That's a damn good sign. Right now, you got outside eyes. Nothing here seems real. That's good. See, the gods of this place mean to kill that disbelief. 
I aim to keep it alive. Mouth to filthy mouth. Uh, ladies, this is not the demo area. The intern is, uh, uh, practicing. I was reminding her that any color scheme must be approved by you. Coda can use any color she wants. In fact, Coda, come with me. Bring your opinions. I'm honored, my lord. <laughs> okay, I like that, but maybe don't ever do it. Now, you might wonder why you are doing all the dirty jobs. Part of the reason is I'm in a jail of sorts and had to learn to work this world in less direct ways. But mainly it's cause I'm lazy. Feels good, you know, admitting it. I guess you were supposed to live out a fairy tale, born to end some war when your sword got big enough. But the gods would have had to agree on all your powers, so you get none. But look around. Every creature here was abandoned by the gods. Let them be your fists, your fangs. Maze, can we talk about the motion cameras? These headsets, um, given what I'm, uh, what you're asking me to accomplish, it's risky to speak freely into so many mics. Yeah, you learn to unsee them. The whole office is wired up. Everything you do or say here is considered content that we own, in case it's genius. It is. So, that's why you have to get fired. Contractually, the company cedes control of your likeness, your voice, but if I just quit before we ship, ha ha, they keep the rights. Anyway, don't sweat the mics. At TMC, assume the spectrum runs from total indifference to total incompetence. Nobody actually checks the recordings, and my plan gets me fired before they come into play. just stripped him for parts. 
No loves, no hates, no legs, and no teeth. What now? Okay, boss, now, I had something important for this area. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Can you watch over my shoulder as I set up my first creature? I want this howler to track the Juggo by scent, flank it, and then pounce. Just set the howler to hate the hero. No! Uh, I mean, some of them should if they get hungry, but global kill on sight? Lacks a certain ecological truth. Trust me. You set two creatures to fight, it's just... Muppet sex, man. All impact, no joy. Looks terrible. But if the hero gets attacked directly, they've got no time to see the stupid. Uh, what about downtime? Can I at least make them sleep? Or pee? Just make them patrol in a loop. You want truth, Grasshopper? Watch what Ish actually does between meetings. You walk in a big enough circle, everyone you meet thinks you've got somewhere to be. Gods have promised that they'll tie off this story in a neat little bow. Everyone will confront a demon, learn a hard-won lesson, and complete an arc. But that's a crock. As evidence, I submit the gods themselves. Watch them long enough and you'll see. People don't arc. They loop. That stupid cinematic is glitched again. You're stuck behind widescreen bars until you hard quit. Tell you what, though. 
as a gesture of good faith, I'll just break you out of story jail. There. Now imagine being stuck in that cutscene for ten actual years. That's my life here. When my gameplay is too rough for his story bible, Ish tears the controls right out of my hands. But I think you can help me get fired. I'm guessing you hacked in. Good. This game is broken, right? So exploit it. Abuse it. Make it chase you on a leash. I'll be watching. yet, boss? I friggin' hope so. That's how it all starts. You look the world up and down, and you sigh.
So, the fort in the forest. The hero has managed to elude the savage howler pack, right? Minus any weapons. But here he learns that they are an intelligent race, caged for generations by the villagers. The predatory behavior now is a rebellion. Sort of my animal farm take on the slave trade. Oh, oh man, if I tell you how dumb you sound, will you be too embarrassed to fire me? Maze, please. Look at the actual human population of your fantasy world. Want Coda to do a little diversity census on the whiteboard? Or, you know, just leave it blank. Oh. Coda, please tell the art guys that we need to talk about the townsfolk. Until then, let's revert to placeholder skins, please. This is my world. Told you I was old. In my day, the gods were cocky. Figured they could handle more than one hero. See that elevator door? 
It won't open for just you. I can help you trick it, though, maybe. Find me in hibernetics. If the gods ever finished my story, I was supposed to wake up here. But the hibernation pod is sealed. I can't open it from inside. Think you can spring me? If it's alive in this world, everything it does is a word of God. Fly or fall, fight or fuck, they burned that word into its head and said, go. You want to take on the Sky Bastard? You got to trap their creations, tear the powers out of them, and stitch them back together your way. Twenty years I've been stuck in here, waiting for the gods. When I got bored, I reached out into the system to learn the ropes and to look for someone like you. This arm implant was meant for my world, but it should help you boss your pets around. Find a way to take my arms with you. I'll come along for the ride. can talk your ear off from inside your head. Plus, your new set of arms should help you con that scanner at the elevator. It wants a second hero, but my guess is anyone will do.
lazy to make that scanner look for something specific. world near to fixed, despite the gods. Then they scrap the whole damn thing and start over with the magic frickin' kingdom up there. Now I know. They ain't never gonna finish. It's a big loop. And you and me? We were born to break it. Coda, you are not capturing video of this. This is not the plan. The fans deserve to see the truth. Someone brought the old sci-fi version back, and now we know. It was finished, and you both canceled it. Ish cut multiplayer. I didn't want my name on it. Plus, Coda, that was years ago. Focus on the demo. You sold Ish on giving me a sword to satisfy action fans. Now make his avatar mortal. I kill Starfather, the crowd laughs at Ish, and at last, he fires me. No. Maze Evelyn, you rose from the fan community, but you have forgotten us. And before we fire you, you will atone. Just check your mail. What effective immediately all likeness writes? Ish signed my brand over to you? Never even asked why. We are your only way out now. After this is done, we have a new demo plan for you. Till then, stay in your room and think about what you've done. We still love you, we just expected more. You brought back my world and drew the bastard in, boss. But it's using cheats. So those old whirlybirds up there will act like it's bodyguards. Now you need a plan to deal with all three. I know for sure you ain't got the parts you need yet. Could take a while. Go find him. One, 
We've all aged 10 years hitting beta. We're down to minor fixes. So as project director, the most valuable thing I can do now is to record, you guessed it, creator commentary. But first, scotch. Indulge me in a toast to the team. The sad tale of the space station Limina and its fateful encounter with the circle is all of our baby. Here's to you.
Rhoda. I told you this sci-fi stuff is completely irrelevant to the demo. It wasn't me, sir, truly. Just some kind of glitch with great dramatic timing. I see. Wow. How old is this stuff? My god. It's years. I'll be 61 in the fall, Coda. No family. For better or worse, this is what they'll remember me by. Uh, yes, exactly. On that demo stage, you have to make yourself believe again. Long ago, I proposed a system that would generate unique offspring from player behavior. You could teach them like real children. The tech team said no. This is your baby. Tech will have to take the fake demo version as a challenge. You know? Yes, damn it. Saying this aloud, how can the demo be about anything else? That crowd has to see a child born into our world and love it as I do. To fear for its future as I do. What was it I said at the end of the original text adventure? By the time we understand our legacy, it is too late to change it.
When something dies around here, even you, that life ends up in the cracks. You want to bring back a ghost? Gotta give it some life. And the bigger it is, the more it'll cost you. Just like the circle. Point is, boss, if it's worth doing, it's gonna hurt. was off and a few other things. script thoughts it's a little safe in act three when starfather returns from the dead it feels cheap because nothing has changed respectfully we've already solved this in fanfic oh that's a porn thing isn't it and i i i don't go in for that kind of starfather should come back as a woman for he hath known the shape of man and woman both your words this is Surreal. You people know my world better than I do. And if you run into a story problem, I can start a forum argument about it. They won't even know they're working for you, Starfather. <laughs> Tell me more about your dark art, my child.
Dakota. I'm alone in a conference room. I scheduled a meeting with myself in search of quiet. What is it? A Mr. Byron Rafe called? You're a loan officer? Yes. He says you've taken out some, quote, Faustian personal loans to make payroll. And unless this project hits big, which it will, you end up slightly homeless. So please stop offering me a salary. Dakota, I find the right people. I lock them in a room. The only word for what emerges is a miracle. Or we kill each other. Either way, problem solved. on your walls, Maze? Are these screen grabs of gamer profile icons? Oh, is this a cute little voice recorder? No, 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 you bitch! You did not kill me. You cheated somehow, or you got your boyfriend to snipe me. I hope you know that cheating gives you pussy cancer. My god, they're trophies. How many do you have? <laughs> I've lost count. Not really, but that sounds cool. I call them my chorus of the damned. Do you ever think about going back to pro gaming? Nah, your reflexes peak at 23, 24. Another thing I've lost, chasing the ship date. But I tell you, after a day on this project, I do like to sit here, open an ice cold beer, and just hit play on all of them at once. In fact, that sounds really good right now. Get out and close the door. really moving.
please enter your voicemail code. Welcome, Ishmael Gilder. Also, Starfather. You have exceeded your mailbox limit. The last unplayed message was left eight years, six days, seven hours ago. Oh, Ish. Uh, play the one before that, I guess? Mr. Gilder, this is Dr. Wellesley at the clinic again. I'm afraid the results haven't changed. Even if your ex-wife were willing to go in vitro, I'm afraid that biologically speaking, the problem uh, closer to home is beyond the reach of any treatment I can offer. My advice would be to start making peace with the idea of adoption. I know that's not what you... I'm very sorry. Call back if you want my expanded analysis or, or just to talk. Now, boss, maybe you see a problem and your solution don't seem clean enough. Like maybe the gods wanted you to do something else. Something perfect. Fuck that. Chasing perfect is what got them into this mess. If your way does the job, it's more right than they'll ever be. Hope you ain't expecting actual magic, cause all this, just a cheap trick. And under that, a cheaper one, all the way down. The magic comes from outside the circle, like you. So the original text adventure only briefly touched on the distant future at the end. Back then, I just wrote whatever I wanted you to imagine. And were shocked when you paid me so well. So I may have surprised you to begin on a space station. And I recognize that compared to the original, this time, your hero was a little more anti. Anyway, for all his faults, I hope the pro found a way under your skin. Obviously, we owe an immense debt to the Clarkian first contact stories. I mean, you've played it by now, but I can't help pitching. An object nicknamed the Magic Circle appears in space, in a universe danger close to heat death, okay? But the brave souls who volunteer to suit up and pass through the circle come back dead, but wearing this beatific grin. Classic. I mean, if you are in Tingley right now, you have no soul. You may be wondering when I'm gonna let out an evil laugh and stab you in the back, twirling my mustache with my off hand. Well, don't panic, boss. But in a way, that already happened. Bringing you here was it.
Dakota, I'm going home. I may have fallen asleep in the lounge. Are you still working on the demo? I need finished looking assets, and there's a whole deleted folder under colored sci-fi, but it's source locked by you and Maze. Would you mind restoring them? Dakota, that was the past. You're the future, okay? Uh, speaking of, you know it's high time you came out to have dinner at Starfall. Your custom smart castle? Out in the woods? No, I mean what? I'm taking hours and hours of your time on this demo. It's an overdue courtesy. I have always dreamt of seeing it. What shall I wear? You'll see.
Holy balls! You took out the Hiver Queen with no weapons? Shows a fine killer instinct. You remind me of me. I feel compelled to reward you somehow, but minus any systems, all that's left is... story. Huh. Tell you what, I'll pass on to you the only story that a game should ever need. Back before time was a thing, there were these two cavemen. Or women, whatever. I'm just gonna pronoun at random. I call these two Frag and Brag. Newbies think I keep those names on my knuckles like a lifestyle, like I believe in both. Negative. No, sir. See, Frag and Brag had their eyes on the same prize, okay? Wanted some time in the naked cave with the same mates. Try to get bombed on the same fermented applesauce. Everything. Fighting over it all had nearly killed them both. They had to pick a winner without the loser dying. At that very moment, the first game was born. And with it, mother effing civilization, okay? Now, in that contest, Frag came out on top, easily. She was faster, stronger, and smarter by a country mile. But Bragg, now, he had an idea. He'd tell the tribe that he would have won if that darn sun wasn't in his eyes. And people swallowed it. Pretty soon, Bragg realized he didn't have to compete at all. He could go on making up BS for the rest of his life. He told the first story and ruined the first game with it. 
took that sacred interplay of all human striving and added an effing cheat code. And that, children, is why the parable of Frag and Brag is the only story that games will ever need. We ride it on our knuckles that it may serve as a warning.
Morning, streamers. Your plucky heroine is making some poor choices for the cause. I need Ish to trust me, so I agreed to this dinner at his castle. But A, he said he's picked an outfit for me, so I'm recording this in case. And yet B, there are definitely other guests. I know when he was married, Ish and his wife were Polly, so I am now walking through the woods, off the trail, hoping to not see an orgy before it sees me. Yes, those are cloaks. People are wearing cloaks. I'm going to have to outrun all of the murder sex in these shoes. But, uh, if so, that's some jaunty music. Approach, Coda Solis. You will kneel a mortal and rise a child of eternity. Look at her face! Did none of you tell her about the masks? For LARPers, y'all act like a frat. Coda, this is all a party for you. Ish is officially writing you into the story. Just as I did when she became Mother Nadir. Don't remind me. Woman, I thought you spoke nerd. You did concept art of me? This spectacular cosplay armor is mine? Of course. You are one of us now. Also, it comes with a pretty sweet crown. But I have to finish the demo. You have 70-something hours. That's a game dev year. Stick around. I heard there's supposed to be an orgy.
Should have known you brought all this back. So what do you actually want? Maybe steal someone's account, then edit the world like we do? Be my guest. Just do it to that three-faced intern, Coda. She's holding a gun to my personal brand, but if you hijack her machine and lock out her controls right as the demo starts, her plans will implode, and I'll give you her job. Think about it. Seeing all this again. Once you doomed one entire world on a whim, the sin of it is past. It might just become habit. That's who the gods are now. If today stings a little, they box it, bury it, and by tomorrow it never was. So originally, the tractor beam was meant to safely guide in the spacecraft of any player not currently controlling the pro. But then our design intern, Maze, here pointed out that you guys would have expected playable vehicles. I told him, it's about precedent. It, it makes no sense to hoof it through miles of space station when you can jump in a shuttle and just hop from airlock to airlock. And from a multiplayer POV, think of the strategies that shake out of having one of your buddies in an armed spacecraft just outside. Yes. So, as I'm sure you players know by now, I had to write it in that the shuttles only work for station personnel. And actually, uh, before we ship, we still need to meet on what to do with the tractor bot. I can schedule it. Super happy to keep advising you. I, yeah, no, I'll call you about that. I'm sure I'll remember this.
So, why you? Why don't I play God? I think maybe... If you're gonna get into the creation racket, you can't overthink it. You just say, what if? And you change the world. After I quit trying to help the gods, I used what I knew to pull pranks on them. But now... I don't know. I see every punchline coming. I smirk at the idea of a joke. This ain't about pity. But a god... ought to take some joy in his work. Ishmael Gilder, personal notes. Speech in the event of bankruptcy, draft eight, subsection, uh, we'll say Q. Uh, yes, yes. <clears throat> Inside every man, woman, and child is this little voice which precedes consciousness, and it whispers, surely I deserve better than this. Why, I'm the hero, after all, aren't I? I should be the one in control. And as a species, I think humanity almost outgrew it. But then we stepped in, peddling our fever dreams, and said, no, you've been right all along. Push this button, and you'll never have to feel that way again. God. Cripes, how do I manage to be preachy and self-hating without so much as a segue? I Better find some money.
So Darkest Hour stuff. Oh, we realized halfway through Dev that we couldn't support a world this dense. We had out of memory errors, terrain holes. I was despondent, certain we'd have to cancel. But then one morning, as if by actual magic, they were gone. And look, I'm a highly public atheist, but damned if I didn't feel like something took pity on me. So here's to you, whoever you are.
Excuse me, whirly birds. Still need shots of you guys for evidence. I gotta admit, boss, I wouldn't have thought of that. Ghost a bastard now, while you still can. <laughs> 